<sighs> Brothers, you have failed. Oh! No! <laughs> so we're gonna play a game of two truths and one lie with okay. a twist. It's like a Western twist. Okay. All right. All right, God, please help. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> now you got, you got the shoulder sleeve. All right, cool. Who's first? Okay, I'm first, all right? Yeah. So, I once attended a Western-themed costume party dressed as a notorious outlaw. I tried my hand at gold panning in a historic mining town in Old West. I've trained with a trick roping expert and can perform impressive um, lasso tricks Ooh. which one is true this is about you right you yeah, yeah. me 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 yeah me, me, me. oh so i would say the first one is correct yes, yes. and you got yes. that point. Yes, I actually attended as Will Smith from Wild Wild West. You know what I'm saying? Right. You would be someone to do something like that. Stick in your mouth too. Uh, you it, to like I, I, I didn't know that was what they were actually doing. You know what I mean? Like I just thought it was like a they had something in their teeth. So no, yeah, I didn't have that. Yeah, it's, okay. yeah, yeah. it's all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah into the next round so uh i once participated in a rodeo and won a belt buckle for barrel racing i visited the grand canyon and took a horseback ride along the canyon's rim and i have a collection of antique cowboy hats each with its own unique story you don't look like no cowboy hat <laughs> i would say oh god why would I, this, the the second one is true. You went to Grand Canyon and did a horseback ride. That seems more realistic. I've got to say you're wrong. That, the third what? one. Cowboy hat. So technically, I don't own it. I more likely inherited it from my grandfather. So he used to be a huge, huge cowboy That's like, right. fan and genre. Black and, like, cowboy. Westerns and stuff like that. Really? Mm yes yes and i remember growing up and he'd just tell me stories of like he would love like just going out to america and then just kind of like uh live that cowboy lifestyle in that sense but obviously at that time it was already over but he would love to tell me stories and then uh, pass it off to me and then you know since then it's it's something that i like to keep to remember him by that's one out of two uh, with this is the last one, all right, before we go on to the next game, all right? So here we go, here we go, all right, cool. Um, this is about me. Uh, I once participated in a wild, wild, sorry, in a wild west reenactment and played the role of a notorious outlaw. I learned how to rope and tie a calf in, t in a timed rodeo event. And lastly, I attended a Western themed film film festival where I got to meet Clint Eastwood in person. Mm. I'll, I can confirm it is definitely either the first one or the last one. So there you go. I would say, I would say the the first one. You got it. You got it. <laughs> Too well, baby. Yeah, I. Uh, like the Clint Eastwood things make sense too because, like, you're in. You, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, you're filming that. Yeah, that was no, no, no. good. That was good. I, Maybe I, I should do one and see if you guys can. Oh my god, do oh, it! Yeah, do it! Oh my go god, do go it. it! Okay. This is about me. <laughs> <laughs> I once went to Machu Picchu in Peru and took pictures. I know fluent Spanish. Okay. I have a collection of scripts over the years for my whole career. Which one's oh, false? All of them are really good because I could I, I could see you it's in all, all of them. that. Yeah, I could exactly. see all of them. Um, the Spanish things, I'm not believing because when she was That's doing America. yeah yeah but 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 the reason why yeah I'm, I'm not believing it is because that seems too obvious 
You know what I'm saying? I'm you. with you there, but I think she might try to throw us up for like throwing a really obvious one in. Do you get what I'm saying? No, but I've never seen her speak Spanish though. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know, man. And then the Peru thing, like, she got money now. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, 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 she got there. So, 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 so two of them are true. Crazy. All right, okay. cool. Um, because you can speak Spanish then. You know yeah, exactly. So it has to be Peru, isn't it? Yeah, we're we're going with the Peru. Peru. <sighs> Brothers, you have failed. Oh! No! <laughs> I was with I was with the llamas in Peru having a great oh, old time, no. and then I went to the coffee show. Oh, Harry Styles, and I was on stage in Peru. So which one? Which so, uh, so the one Spanish? that falls is I. I don't know Spanish that like I British. I, colony, we're a British colony. Guyana is a British colony. We're the only non-speaking Spanish uh, country in South America. So cool. we only speak English. Cool. And, um, well, thank you so thank much. You. The pleasure. You have to pinky promise me and Yaz as well. The next time you're coming down to our office, you go. we're gonna do a, we're gonna do a live podcast right here. Okay, exactly. we're, we're gonna kill it. It's, it's gonna be amazing because I this is too much. You. I got you. Come on. <laughs> All right. Have a good rest of the day. Enjoy your uh, other interviews. And we've been the Post Crazy Podcast. We out. Peace. Thank you.